Alexandria Mosley and uh, I want to introduce you to a few books that I've written for children and the first one is called Why Can't I Be the President When I Grow Up. Um, I felt the need to write this book because I thought it was important to reflect back in history when it was a time when America had never had a black president and so this little boy named Little Elijah had hopes and dreams of becoming the first black president. He wanted to change that in America, so he had hopes and dreams for that. So I want to read a little bit about the book for you. As I told you, my name is Alexandra Mosley. You can find me on Amazon.com. Um, as Elijah sat in the classroom on his first day of school in the year 2008, his first grade teacher was telling the class how to say the Pledge of Allegiance. Uh, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. So of course, little Elijah jumped up after the pledge was over and shouted, Teacher, what does liberty and justice for all mean? So the teacher went into uh, the definition of liberty. She said it means that every man was created equal and born to be a free man. It's part of our American Constitution. Um, little Elijah said, what is the Constitution? The teacher re said, reply, the Constitution is a document written, written after the Declaration of Independence to form and establish justice, protect our rights, and protect you as an American citizen so that you could, you know, grow up and pursue your dreams and be whatever you want to be. Well, of course, little Elijah said, well, you know, if that is the case, um, well, first he did ask, well, who wrote the Constitution? And she said it was written in 1787 uh, by our former presidents, James Madison, George Washington, and other representatives of the White House. So little Elijah, of course, he tilted his head and he said, well, you know, what color were they? And she said, well, why are you asking a question like that, Elijah? He said, well, I overheard my big brother say that a black man would never be the president. Well, do you believe that, the teacher asked? I guess so. Well, has there ever been a black president, little Elijah asked? Give me a second. Well, I would have to say no, but that doesn't mean there will never be a black president. So, of course, the teacher asked little Elijah, what, um, what did he want to be when he grew up? Uh, little Elijah said, well, I want to be the president. And of course the classroom chuckled. Well, this book uh, is to inspire every little kid that dreams can come true. And it also celebrates the presidential victory of Barack Obama. So in the book, you will find an image of Barack Obama, President Barack Obama, a little bit about the author. And as you see, it's beautifully illustrated. And it was illustrated by Lindell Rankins, and it was written by me. I have another book, it's called My New Friend in the Chocolate Factory. And it's a beautiful illustrated book, illustrated by Cameron Turner, written by me. Uh, and it also hits on a certain issue amongst children uh, about being different on the outside. Um, it kind of closes the gap. I would have to say it does close the gap amongst children um, when it comes to racism and it, it, it kind of makes it where they're more familiar with each other once they read this book. And this book is called A Palm Tree Goes to Georgia. It's about children stepping outside the box and not being afraid to uh, try different things. It's about a palm tree in San Diego who grew bored of his same surroundings and wanted to explore. And of course the big bird um, suggested that they flew down south for the winter. Sister bird, sister. Since we do know that black um, birds go down south for the winter every season. So here's the palm tree on its journey. As they took, took off, headed south. From the palm tree went through Arizona and the palm tree thought it was so hot. He went through Texas, and you know how large Texas is, so you can imagine how far he had to travel. You know, he almost gave up, and then the black bear told him, you know, you come too far to turn around, and that you should never give up once you set a goal for yourself. Uh, of course, find out what happens to the palm tree. He stumbled upon a place called Georgia, so the title gives away, but find out what happens to the palm tree in the end. 
And um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but my degree is in social science, so I find my books to be very unique and um, written on certain topics that are very sensitive amongst children. So my books are, are longevity and very useful for a lifetime. And so I hope that you enjoy it. And like I said, find me on Amazon.com uh, under Alexandria Mosley.